right, Corbell, how's your off season been? And uh, you know, how does it uh, you know uh, feel getting ready to start another season? It was great, man. You know, coming in for my 10th season, 10th uh, conditioning test, past that, flying colors. And, you know, just feel good to be back with these guys out here. And, um, you know, what are some of your expectations for this season after having, you know, uh, you know helping the team a lot last year? I mean, it's probably a lot of expectations for a lot of one, but, you know, me just, you know, just, just trying to finish the year off strong, you know, start to finish, you know. And later in the year, you know, it was banged up a little bit. You know, I couldn't play the way I wanted to play, but, this year, you know, just, just trying to finish the year off strong. It was a lot of change this off season. Um, how did it look from your vantage point? Uh, you excited to get going with some of your new teammates? I'm just I'm here to play football, man. What I do best, you know, that's something I've been doing since a little kid. You know, I'm I'm just ready to get out there tomorrow and compete. We haven't talked to you since you signed your contract. I've also seen you since then. What, walk me through what that was like. Did you expect that that would get done? Did you want? Did you think that maybe it wasn't going to happen? I mean. <laughs> At the end of the day, man, I you know I can't really control what you know the contract and the situation that is. I mean, of course I wanted to be here. At the end of the day, I mean the whole world knew that. You know, it, it's just a matter of the point. You know, and getting the contract done. You know, and, and I'm thankful. You know, everybody in the organization. You know, they reached out to me and you know just that we got it done. I'm here. You know, that that's all that matters. What was it like for you when it did get done? What? <laughs> I mean, I was on vacation at the beach, so I mean. You should know what that's like signing a contract at the beach, so really ain't got to say much about that. <laughs> you like running the water, man? Can't tell you, man. It's only my family knows what happened. <laughs> hey, we see you pull up here in year 10. Go back to year one compared to now. What's that feeling like now? It's the same, man. You know, I, I, I really I come to work each and every day, you know, with a smile on my face. You know, I'm thankful, appreciative. You know, just coming out here to, to play football. You know, like I say, something I've been doing since I was a kid. and. You know, just to do it for you know ten years in the NFL, it's, it's a blessing. Did you do anything differently this off season because you ended last year banged up? Did you treat it any differently? It's, I mean, football is football. I mean, I'm sure you do your work the same each and every day. You know, I, I take my job serious. You know, I do the same thing every year. I mean, but did you change your? There's nothing to change. Program? No diet, any of that. It's, it's the same, man. It's football, man. It's something you do, you love. You don't, you don't, you can't just keep going to change and stuff every year. You know that that's when you mess up. So I just try to. Stick to the same thing and just keep doing it. And continue to you know, and just just get that in my head. But you were used more last year than you had been in the past, at least offensively. So did that alter kind of maybe anything at all in terms of making sure that you had made them like had the ability to kind of get through the season? Uh, not really, man. I mean, <laughs> just train it. I mean, it, like I say, so you, I do day in and day out, man. It's, it's really no off season, man. We. We train all year round for the sport, you know, and it's something we love. And I'm just keep, to, to keep continuing to do it until the wheels fall off. What is the conditioning test here? You mentioned the conditioning test. What is else? You got to ask Arthur about that it's one. It's like top secret like everything else? It's not top secret. I mean, if you ask Arthur, I'm sure he'll tell you. I'm not, he won't tell us. He anything. will. He won't say a word. <laughs> <laughs> he was uh, adamant about being back here. We saw the posters. We saw everything he had during the season. Why did you want to come back and be a part of this organization? I mean, it's just the, org the whole organization, man, they – it's just great, you know, what Coach Smith, you know, what Terry got going on around here, man. And it's really like, they treated me like I was a kid, man. You know, just having fun all over again, you know. It's treating it like I was young, you know, in the backyard just playing football. And that's how they treat me the whole year. And I love it, man. You know, I'm, like I said, why not retire here in Atlanta, man? It, it's home, you know. I found myself all over again, and I love to be here. Arthur said that they're going to manage you. They manage you a little bit in the offseason. They're going to manage you a little bit more. Training campus reps, like, how do you handle that? Because that's this is one of the first times that's really happened for you too, right? Yeah, I mean, like I say, whatever Arthur wants, I mean, he's gonna get it. I mean, he's the he's the big dog in charge, man. And, and I'm just here. I'm thankful, man, to be here. You know that, like I say, going on year ten and just continue to keep playing. I think it was midway through last season we talked when you weren't returning kicks anymore. You said, "Oh, I'd love to still do that." Is that plausible this year? Or is it got to be. I got a record to break, man. You know, I need one more before I can hang it up being back there, man. I get one more, I, I'll stop doing it. You stop, you'll stop returning kick. I'll stop returning kick how if I get you, one more. How do you describe the feeling when you come back to training camp? You talked about being a little kid playing football. Is that kind of the same feeling that you get? Oh, I get it. I woke up this morning happy, man. I, like one of my kids was up. I woke my girl up, told her I'm leaving. You know, I come take videos of me. I mean, it's... It's just fun, man. Like, like I said, a little kid, man. I just, I just be happy as soon as I wake up, man. You know it's football right around the corner. Like I said, I'm thankful, you know, to, to be here. 
you know, with this organization and, you know, just get the ball rolling. Is it a different feeling being here in Atlanta and being with the Falcons than you've had in previous years? I can't speak on what happened in previous years, but it's love here. I, I can say that. I, I really love it here a lot. I, I love it here a lot. After a year at running back, do you have a preference as where you are at the snap? I know it was kind of running back in name only because you split wide a lot. Do you have a preference as just, to where to start a play? I just want the ball. Yeah. I'm a playmaker. Just give me the ball. That's all you got to do. And I'll do the rest. No matter where I'm at. Quarterback, you know me. You know I can play any position, so it's, it's not hard, man. Is there an ideal number for you, a targets, touches for you in a game? I mean, me and Coach, we, we talk about it a lot, but, I mean, You'll see. Is his number different from your number? <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> <laughs> how close? How, how, what's your number and what's his number? It's far apart. It's yeah. just no. <laughs> it's like from one year to year ten. So just. Started to lobby to make sure you're back there. I mean, me, uh, me and Keith, we we talk like the whole off season, man. Probably every two weeks, every other week, texting and calling. Talked to him two days ago. I told him, listen, I'm gonna be back there now. I mean. I don't know how much you want me back there, but I, I got to be back there. I know, like I said, I got a record to break. The numbers on live what you did last year, doing all the things you did. What do you think you like most about Coach Will Parker? You get me, you're getting his playmakers involved. I mean, I'm a guy that you know I want to go make a play for my team any way I can. Like I said, no matter what position I'm in, you know, I just want to go out there and make a play. And I know he's gonna continue, you know, to get all the playmakers, you know, the ball. He he had a lot of guys, you know, at, at receiver, at running back, and at quarterback. So I'm sure. It's going to be fun this year. Speak to those guys real quick. You got Mariola, you got Young Ritter coming in. I mean, what do you like about these guys in the offseason? That you some <laughs> I'm not, I can't really speak on them that much because I went here, you know, OTAs. But, you know, just going back and just watching, you know, Marcus, you know, from the past, I mean, he a playmaker, man. He, he make plays, you know, he he's a little savage out there. You know, he that's just what he doing. And, you know, and Riddle, you know, just seeing him in college. I mean, I, that's all I really seen, you know, he's – he won it, you know. He he's, he go he gonna go out there and compete each and every day with Marcus, and you know that's what you need out of your quarterbacks. You want to compete and make them fight for it. You talked to Matt Ryan since the trade. Have you talked? To I him? did. How was he? I did. How was that? What did that conversation go like? I mean, that's, he's good, man. I guess. I mean, you gotta ask him. Man. I mean, I can't tell you my personal stuff. I mean, it's Matt Ryan. I mean, he's one of the great Hall of Famers, so of course he's good. He's in he's in a good situation right now. What should they expect from him in Indianapolis? You think? Nothing less than they expected from him here. I mean, he's, he's a Hall of Famer. That's, that's all I can really say. <laughs> yeah, Chris, um, what's it like here coming into your fifth camp? What, what was the off season like and uh, you ready to go here? Uh, it's amazing. We had a great uh, OTA period and it's exciting now to get back and get back to work. And uh, love the team, love the atmosphere and the competitive camp that we're going to have. Yeah, Coach talked about competition a lot uh, over the offseason. What's your mindset as the offensive line? Uh, you know, it looks to be a lot of competition up there. Mm -hmm. uh, I think first you always want to be accountable uh, to the room, so improving individually and then uh, improving as a unit, coming together as a unit, and then uh, playing to the best of our ability so we can win as a team. And you're um, fine for you. Uh, you got your uh, option and so forth. Uh, where do you feel you're at as a pro and what would be some of your goals for, for the season? Uh, just I, I feel like I'm constantly getting better. I'm lucky to be a part of a great organization and have great guys around me. So uh, took the off season to really focus on, on improving. And then everything goal oriented is uh, as a team. So go out there and day by day, you know, have great practices and then try and win as many games as possible this season. Right. Thanks, Chris. Chris. What have they told you about a possible extension? Uh, I haven't I haven't heard anything, so. Is, is that something you'd like to see get done before the season starts? Where, where does that come from? Um, I really, I'm not thinking about it. I'm just really focused in on every day coming in here, be the best player I can be. And uh, I love the Falcons. I love the Falcons organization. I'd love to be here forever. So, um, but I just really, every day is focused on coming in and be the best player I can be. How does day one feel this year as opposed to day one and the first day of Arthur Smith's? Mm -hmm. uh, I think I think it's 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 a totally different feel, and I, you know, we're so comfortable with Coach Smith and the staff, and year two of learning the offense, and it's exciting now to really be able to hit the ground running. And I think we felt it as a individually, and then as a unit up front that we feel comfortable in the offense, and that it's only going to continue to grow. So I'm really excited and looking forward to that uh, now that we're going live and full speed. How much of that process of learning the offense and everybody being comfortable has to 
reset with a, somebody different at quarterback this year as opposed to a 14 year vet? Uh, we're really lucky, lucky with those guys. I mean, Dez and Marcus are, you know, I mean, true professionals and they come in every day ready to work and as soon as an offensive lineman as soon as you really hear their cadence and how the mode of operation is with you know how they command things and then we go out there during OTAs and we had however many practices I mean feel super comfortable pretty much after just a couple practices with those guys and so again it's gonna be it's gonna be exciting. Um, I mean, it's it's definitely different, but uh, you just embrace the change, embrace the environment, and it's uh, everything. Everything's great. I mean, the first day with with Mac gone was definitely different, and you could feel uh, his presence. You know, him not being there was different, but uh, you adjust to everything, and you love. I mean, love every guy in our building now, and Marcus and those guys. It's fortunate to play with them. Mm -hmm. I think if there's a ton of excitement, I mean, you're really ready to go. Like, so many guys have put so much work into preparing for the season and, you know, learn from what we, you know, good, bad, and indifferent from last year and really try and make those corrections. And you're excited at the opportunity to be able to come play football and be a part of the organization. I think it's uh, very fortunate and really take the appreciation of that and ready to roll. Think about the actual day-to-day -day training camp. If there is, is there anything that excites you about uh, actually starting training camp and then actual practices? I think when every 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 practice you get done in training camp is one day closer to the season. <laughs> so it's like, you know, you got to go through it, and it's something to, to get better on to prepare. And you know, it's there's it's a grind. You have a lot of hard parts to it, but you're excited and looking forward, you know, for the season. Uh, just my body posture and pass protection is something that I tried to work on and then just getting a better understanding of the offense, really trying to grow and not just, you know, you're never just trying to know your assignment, you're trying to know how and why everything works. Caleb is in a different spot than you in terms of the fifth year option. How do you expect him to respond to that this year? Mm -hmm. uh, I love Caleb. I'm fortunate I've been able to play with him now. It's going on four years and uh, He's. He, I'm just so impressed with him, the way he's come and worked this off season, and how uh, how great he looks. And I'm super excited for him to go out there and, and to show that because he's he's really put the work in this off season. Where do you feel like this offensive line is heading into camp? I think we're we have great cohesion as a unit. Um, I think we have understanding, or we're going to continue to grow understanding of the offense, and we know what the standard is. We know what we need to improve on. Um, and we're going to try and go out there and you know be a hard-nosed group and go and always be a Simon Sound and keep keep Marcus safe. So, how do you plan to bring some of these younger guys along that are going to be new here? Uh, one, it starts. Those guys are exceptional and they're they're you know they're wanting to learn, they're wanting to get better, and they're reaching out to us, which is awesome. And then making ourselves available to them, and uh, we work post practice with those guys on whatever they need or any help that they need. Um, but they've been they've been great in terms of you know putting themselves out there to want to you know get the work in. Who reached out to you? Uh, I, especially with guard, I work with Shafe a lot. He's a great kid, uh, and uh, you know there's different things. He's always asking me questions all the time of you know either about the offense or technique stuff. Um, and I was fortunate enough when I was a rookie to have, and I still am. Like I utilize Jake all the time, um, but you know I just want to be a resource for them to have the best career that he can he can have and help the team. Do you feel like leadership skills are starting to take shape for you and your five as you're helping these younger guys out? Uh, for sure. Um, I mean, it's, I just try and, you know, I like I said, I was fortunate enough to have, you know, either role models or peers or however you want to look at it. Like, those guys helped bring me along and I wanted to be a resource for those guys. And so I think that part in it is it. And then now that, you know, I've been in it for a couple of years, it's getting the comfortability in it and anything I can help those guys just trying to pass that knowledge or thoughts or along to them. How comfortable are you guys at this point with Ritter, Desmond Ritter? I know mm -hmm. he's just part of the way along the process. But mm -hmm. he's in there. Uh, yeah, for sure. And we're, we're definitely comfortable with him. And it's, uh, it's just going to continue to grow. And I think that's the big part uh, in role of training camp is to continue to grow with those guys.
at this point in your career, what do you expect to get out of training? What, what's your goal for the next three weeks? Uh, my overall goal is, you know, to gel even closer as a unit, um, especially as a DB unit, uh, get better with my guys, build that chemistry, and just get, get better day in and day out. That's really my main goal, you know, focus on things one day at a time. Of course, be better than last season, stuff like that. Just constant, we're in a constant state of improvement. So that's, that's the main thing of what I'm trying to get out of it, just Come to keep improving. Thinking, thinking you're a starter, or do you not think in those terms at this point in the year? I just play, play ball. You know what I'm saying? We need all hands on deck. Um, everybody who is on the team, you know, has a role. And whatever that role is, you know, if you go out there and execute that role, we need all, all 11 to win, all 22, you know what I'm saying, offense and defense, plus some and some to win games. So, yeah, that's how I think of it. I just go in there. Do my thing, control our control, prepare and give it my best. What did you do over the last six weeks? Anything interesting? I got it in, man. Uh, really working out and stuff like that. Spent some time with my family. Uh, family and friends and loved ones. That's my main thing, you know. And whenever I have these breaks, I love to just, you know, spend the times with the, you know, the ones I love the most, you know, because you don't really get that much time. And then prepare and get ready for this upcoming season. What do you expect from Richard Grant this year? Uh, I expect all my dudes to ball just like him. I expect him to do his thing, and uh, yeah, I expect my boy to do his thing. Does you know he, what I'm saying? Can you notice that he's more comfortable with what he's doing at this point than he was early last year? I mean, like, like if you guys think about it, you know, coming in, you know, everything is new. It's like being a freshman in college, you know. So of course, you know, you got to get used to certain things, the system, how things are, the league, and you know, my boy just on the up and up. You know, what I'm saying, sky the limit for him. So yeah. Uh, it makes you better, you know what I'm saying? If there ain't no comp, then it's just like, it's kind of boring, you know? So competition is, is, is very important, you know, especially in our position group, because, you know, we all trying to get after it every single day. So, uh, yeah, I like competition. Heading into day one of training camp, what's what's the feeling like? Is it the same thing every time for you? I mean, I feel good. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, like, I feel good to be back out here. Um, when you go on from the sport for a minute, you realize like, damn, football and being around your guys, coaches and stuff really is a blessing, you know, and it, and it feel good to be back. Yeah, for sure. Beyond the on the field, what does Eric Harris bring to y'all's room? Man, he is my dog. He is the man of just wisdom, knowledge, leader, um, good dude, man, spiritually, spiritually, spiritually for sure, um, as well as physically, obviously, on the field. But uh, just just a good all-around guy to have in the room for sure. Were you happy to see him? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's my dog, man. You know, playing with him last year, building chemistry with him and stuff like that. That that was really it was really dope, man. And then he taught me a lot too, so it's cool. Do you come in with a different mindset in some ways this year versus maybe a year ago or two years ago? Because last year they had Eric and Delon before that they had the veterans, where now it's kind of your back to time. Yeah. Uh, what am I saying? Always, I, my mindset always be the same. My mindset is just like, you know what I'm saying, go out there, win the day, do my thing, uh, handle my responsibilities, play ball, you know what I'm saying, with my team, win, be turned, stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? It's the same mindset, just a new year, you know? And um, like I said, we in a constant state of improvement. That's the main thing. So keeping the main thing, the main thing with the team and just improving day in and day out, yeah. Uh, it's crazy because I always be watching a lot of film. I would say um, I always look to improve on my overall gameplay. You know, like I focus on specific things for sure. But overall, you know, coming in the new year, you know, I look to just improve on everything and keep leveling up. That's about it. From a defensive standpoint, one against the Very smart, um, very smart, can run, talented, both got great arms, throwing dime bags, um, good leaders, you know, Mariota, they're very poised, you know what I'm saying, good quarterbacks, that's what I see. Is River a trash talker? Uh, I don't really know. I, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't really know, yeah, I don't really know. I, don't, I haven't really heard much. But I know he's a competitor just by the way he performs. So, yeah. 
Um, I mean, OTA, it's kind of, you know, I mean, yeah, I guess. I mean, you know, from what, just from, I'm going off of what I see. Right, yeah, yeah. So, you know, obviously we're going to play more football, so obviously we'll see more. So, you know, I, I think my guy, you know, my guys are good, and I'll bet on my guys any day. Yeah, I guess I was just meaning more like, you know, late people, maybe we see took certain things in OTA, but you're an actual player that you might be able to see things that we don't from a quarterback. So I was wondering if there were things that maybe you saw that, that maybe the late person wouldn't see that told you that. Uh, I mean, I just I just know my guys go out there and give it they all every day. Um, we compete against each other. Obviously, they do some good stuff to us. We do some good stuff to them. So, you know, we look to do more of that as we get into more competitive stuff in practice. So, yeah. A little bit, but personal goals for you throughout training camp, what would they be? Get better win the day. That's it. <laughs> That's it. There's no bullet point that you have that you circle and you say, you know, this is what Jalen's got to do. Every day, get better, win the day. That's, that's really, that's really, that's really my whole thing. Uh, yeah, I would just say, you know, get better at, you know, the little things, um, detail and stuff, stuff like that. There's always something you could tune up. I mean, there's always gonna be a play in practice where you could have done better. That's what practice is for. So I'll go back, cut on the tape. Okay, see this? Bam. Let's improve on that. Let's just keep building. From that, don't make the same mistakes twice type thing. It's be a good time for us to, to really get into getting to know each other and uh, coming together as a group. When you see them cycling through everybody and you're kind of still here, like what goes through your head? Because I mean, this is literally it's you and Frank Darby and game tags. Uh, I feel like every year is kind of the same. Same for me as far as like my mentality is. Uh, I just know the business and the nature of it, and just every year it's just kind of reinforced. Like um, you can you can be gone just as fast as you're here. So uh, I always just have the mindset of just not taking anything for granted, and uh, just working and uh, just you know building that trust between me and the coaches every day. Will you raise your hand more for kick, kick return punt or kickoff return duty this year? Is that something you lobby to do? Uh, whatever the team needs. Uh, I, I'm confident in all of it. I feel like I can do everything. So um, whatever the team needs, if the team needs me back there, then I'll go and do it. Do you have an expectation you'll get a shot or even do one of those um, I'm sure. I'm sure I'll get a shot. But you know, whatever whoever the coaches feel like is the best person, they'll they'll put out there. So, but it's something I'm confident in doing. What did you learn last year? Because maybe the role that you thought you'd have, the role a lot of people you thought you'd have last year, kind of changed pretty quick and then never really. Uh, just the, the state of course, like um, you know, things might not always look how you you expect them to be, but you know, everything happens for a reason. There's a reason for everything. I'm a firm believer in that, and uh, you know, just stay in the course and just always be prepared and be ready for anything. How do you fit in the, fit into this wide receiver group schematically? I mean, what what do you think your role is in this? Look around and see what everybody else does. Uh, you know, I, I think one thing everybody looks at is the height. You know, just kind of being that faster, like shiftier guy, I guess. Um, I guess that's to still be to the de to be determined. You know, just kind of see how it plays out in training camp. But um, you know, I'm, I'm confident what I can do, and my my capability. So uh, you know, we'll see we'll see how that how that plays out. Theoretically, you could have like six four, six five, six five, six three. Like, could you potentially get lost in the shuffle and that maybe among defenders? Like, is that possible? Uh, I mean, yeah, anything's possible. Uh, but like I said, I'm, I'm confident what I'm what I'm able to do. You know, I feel like I play way bigger than my height. So, um, yeah, I mean, anything's possible to answer your question. But like I said, I'm confident. How many reps does it take? Time, whatever the unit of measurement you use to get comfortable with the quarterback. Really be comfortable. You feel like, I, I know where he's going to throw this route, et cetera, et cetera. I don't think there's any set number, but I think it is important to, to continue to get those reps and to continue to put in that time. Uh, you know, if there was a set number, I'm sure everybody would, you know, strive to achieve to achieve that number. But um, it just, you know, comes with time, comes with reps, like you said. Uh, but I don't feel like there's any you know, particular amount. What do you think about the new guys, Mariota and Ritter? I, I like them both. Um, 
both very humble, confident guys. Um, you know, we're still building that chemistry. You know, it's going to take time, take take reps. But uh, you know, I, I'm, I like I like what, what I've seen so far, and I, I'm, I'm ready to keep building with both of them. Yeah, I'm, it's different. It's different. Uh, not not only just Matt, just you know the whole team. You know, there's a lot of a lot of new faces, new new people that you know you just have to get accustomed to. You know, how, however they play, their play styles and stuff like that. And uh, you know, it's an it's, it's an adjustment for all of us. So um, it's it's been exciting just because it's you know it's new um, and uh, something that you have to work work at a little bit more than somebody that you're familiar with. So. Um, you know, it's like I said, it's been something new, but it's been exciting for me. You mentioned that change. Last time, guys, there were a lot of guys that were about you. Do you like what Brown's talking about? How much change was that? Yeah, uh, when I when I first walked into the locker room, it was just like you see the different name tags and stuff. And it's like okay, like this is my first time really seeing that in the in the league, so it was new for me. But uh, like I said, it's exciting because. Um, you get to learn about new people, learn new things about new people, and uh, you have to almost like reset and start over with these new people. And uh, you know it's been going well so far, so it's, it's exciting for me. Jose, take me through uh, today pulling up day one. What's it feeling like? You know, hey, about to get started, training camp. Uh, just uh, I'm I'm excited. I'm happy. You know where I'm at. You know mentally, physically. Uh, you know, a conditioning test today, so not really doing too much. Um, you know, just really just checking that off so we can get to the fun things, play, actually playing football. Um, but uh, yeah, just, uh, you know, the, the real days are, are, are to come. You know, today's more so just, you know, checking things off, getting some paperwork done and stuff like that. So. What about training camp excites you? When you get into the grind of a day seven, day eight, anything excites you about the middle of training camp? Uh, just like you said, the grind of it, like, like those are the days, like you really find out about yourself, find out about your teammates when, you know, you have your fourth practice in a row and, uh, you know, things you don't feel as good as you did when you first got here is like, that's when you really find out about yourself and your teammates. So, you know, I'm excited for that. And, uh, you know, the grind of it, the grind of it, it's, uh, it's always a part of everything. And, uh, especially this year, it's a lot of new faces, new people. Really good route runner, but over the years it's always been OC catching these big bombs. He's always a deep threat. What do you think you've grown the most as a receiver since you got in the back? Uh, definitely this past year. Obviously, you said movement and route running stuff, but like this past year, just mentally, um, I've been I've been really tapping into that. Just making sure. Uh, you know, I'm comfortable reading defenses, knowing their their how they, what their assignments are, how to attack certain certain things like that, and uh, I think that's been that's been the biggest growth for me. You know, this off season is just uh, you know the mental aspect of it. What do you think about Drake London? Uh, like I, I said, I said before in OTAs, like he's a he's a big body, he, he smooth smooth athlete, and uh, he's he's a big body, and he's gonna go up and get the ball and. Uh, like he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna do well, you know. I'm trying to help him up as much as I can, you know. Um, but uh, he's a rookie still, so he has things to work on as as we all do. But uh, you know, he's he's gonna come along. And we're, we're gonna help him. I think the only question mark about him was his speed. Is he fast enough? He's he's fast enough. <laughs> he's fast enough. Over the summer, you've talked about your confidence in this team. You, you keep referencing all these new faces. What gives you that confidence in this particular team, given the fact that we don't know much about it yet? Yeah, um, it's just everybody's. Everybody's bought in. Like everybody knows we have new faces, and everybody just wants to win. And everybody's gonna, is doing, you know, their 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 best, putting their best effort in order to achieve this common goal that we want to we want to achieve. And, uh, and like I said, I said like I feel like we're a playoff team. It's like if we if we don't believe that, who will? So like we have to be the people to believe that. And uh, I think that's when we will start to move that way and move as a playoff team and stuff like that. So um, yeah, that's just that's just how I feel. I feel like I've always had it, um, but even more so this year, just a lot of moving parts, moving pieces, uh, just a lot of new faces, and uh, you can just you can just tell by how people are moving. Like everybody is hungry, everybody is hungry, everybody wants to to do well and be and be great. So um, not that we didn't have that before, but you can just you can just tell with the new faces and the new guys here.
MacArthur and Terry talk, say, use the words culture, ethos, various things a lot. What does that look like? What does building culture or establishing culture look like on a daily basis in the building and on the practice field? I think yeah. foremost is just being around each other. You know, that's that's how you build culture, being around each other and just having conversations about, like, what, what are your goals? What are our goals as a team and stuff like that? And then uh, just holding each other to that standard. That's, how, that's really how you build culture. But like I said, this is the time to do it. You know, we're going to be around each other a lot, doing, doing hard things every day. And we're going to have to do it again the next day, and then the next day, the next day, get off day, and then just keep doing that. So like I said, that's when you really learn about your teammates and stuff. So this is, this is the time where you, the culture is really being built.